Hey, welcome back. Um, now we're going to go into, uh, in this video, we're going to go into the quartiles. Uh, as you can see here, uh, how you calculate the first quartile is uh, quartile 1 equals n, meaning the data points, plus 1, divided by 4, and whatever that, uh, whatever that rank value is, you have to you'll put the corresponding rank value, which I'll show you. And the third quartile, and how you calculate that, uh, Q3, it's Q3 equals three times uh, the, the sum of uh, N plus one divided by four, and this should give you the rank value for that. And to get the interquartile range, the inter interquartile range equals Q3 minus Q1. So uh, well, let's get started. I'm going to show you uh, how to do it on your calculator. Okay, so here we're going to. I'm going to show you how we're going to set up. Uh, how we're going to get the quartiles from the data that we've been working on. For the last few videos and that's with the time uh it's this data here time date data that you should be familiar with from the previous videos this is from the z scores uh, this is from the uh, rank values so in order to get the rank value the, for the first quartile it's going to be the uh the first is going to be the total of 10. So it's going to be 10 plus 1 divided by 4 in order to get the first quartile. So let's uh, bring up the calculator here. So to get the quartile, let me clear this. We know what n is, right? So we can, we can get n here fairly quickly. So we could just go like this, hit the blue key, hit n. So it's going to be 10 plus 1, right? And then equals, then you divide that by 4. So you say divide by 4 equals 2.75. So the 2.75 is not a whole number. So there's some rules in which you got to do in order to, uh, when you have a number that's not a whole number. But for now, I'm going to round this up to the nearest uh, integer, which is going to be 3. So that's going to be the rank value. So if we go here to the Excel spreadsheet, if you go to 1, here's the ranks. The rank is 1, 2, 3. The rank value is 35. So our quartile for Q1 right here, which I'm going to type in, I'm going to say uh, Q1 equals 35. So that's our first quartile. And let me go into the rules. I want to show you the rules for that. So what happened was, uh, Considering that wasn't a whole number. So uh, here's an example. That's going to be rule number three. It says if the ranked value is neither a whole number nor a fractional half, you round to the result to the nearest integer and select the measurement corresponding to that ranked value. And so here, for example, like we, you just saw, uh, it says here, for example, if the sample size is 10, which is our sample size that we just did, uh, the first quartile, Q1, is equal to the, it's 10 plus 1, like I showed you in the formula, divided by 4, it came out to 2.75. And 2.75 is the rank value. Considering that uh, 2.5, 2.75 is close to the 3, um, yeah, you, so you round it off to three, which is the value I just showed you, and it says, and use the third ranked value. 
So the third rank value in this case, when we go back, the third rank value is the rank. Third rank value for that, rank values is 35. So that's how I got Q1. So now let me show you how to get Q3. So before I do that, let's look at the formula for Q3 again. So to get the third quartile, it's the same formula as Q1. The only thing the difference is you have to put a three before the, uh, the number here, before the n plus one. So, so whatever the n plus one, you multiply it by three to get to the third quartile. So that's the difference. So uh, let's go and let's, let's right here. Let's do a Q three equals. So let's solve for that first, looking at our formula. So let's bring up the calculator. Let me do a clear. So in this case, it's going to be a little different. So what you want to do first is um, we know it's 11, right? So the n plus 1 is 10 plus 1, that's 11. So it's going to be the top, top of the formula is going to be 3 times 11. Equals 33. So you divide that by 4. You get divide by 4, which is the formula, and that equals 8.25. So in this case, it's going to be ranked 8 because you're going to round it to the nearest integer. This is not over 2.5, so you gotta you got to you got to uh, take it to the nearest integer. In this case, it's going to be 8. So let's go here, look at 8. 8 is what? Is rank 8. And the value for 8 is 44. So the third quartile is 44. Oops. Equals 44. So that's how we got that. So now I'm going to show you how to get the interquartile, which uh, the interquartile, as you can see here, it's the third quartile minus the first quartile. So let me show you how to do that right there. Okay, so we already have those two values, right? So you have the first quartile and the third quartile. So the interquartile is the difference, right? So let's go to the calculator, hit clear. And in this case, the formula says uh, third minus th the Q3 minus Q1. So Q3's value, as you see here, it's 44, so you're going to do 44 minus 35. 35 equals 9. Yeah, so what that means, that, um, that means it, out of all the minutes here, that it, it only averaged out to 9. So there'll, there'll, be, a, there'll be 9 minutes. So um, that's it for quartiles. So um, what I'm going to do in the next video, I'm going to show you how these numbers correspond to with the, creating a what they call a box plot. And I'm going to discuss uh, what they call a five number summary. So I look forward to uh, showing you in the next video.